Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is a video editorial for this problem, Power of Two, taken from Lead Code. So the problem, as you can see, is very easy. You are given an integer, and you have to tell whether the given integer is a power of two or not. So if you must know about the integers which are power of two, uh, the binary representation of those integers contains only a single set bit to uh, so one of the ways to test whether the given integer is power of 2 or not is to check or to count the total number of set bits in the binary representation of n there is a bit better way but since i have explained the way to check or count the total number of set bits in a given number so we are going to use that way and if you have no idea how to do that I have explained this in third lecture of bit manipulation series so get, go and check out that lecture first so uh, in count is equals to 0 while n count plus plus n is equals to n n with n minus 1 this is how we count the total number of set bits if count is equals to 1 return true else sorry return false so let's test for some of the test cases okay so we have an okay sign integer overflow this should not happen okay so there, there is a problem if uh one of the one of the things that I do not like about lead code is that they do not provide you uh, the constraints on n at least. So n can be negative as well. So if n is negative, return false because a negative number cannot be a power of two. Let's test this. So okay, we are getting the result so let's submit this yep the code works so we have successfully solved this problem now the, uh, this way what we were doing we were simply counting the total number of set bits if the total number of set bits are 1 then uh, the result is true otherwise false there is one more way first if uh, n is negative of course it cannot be a power of 2 if n is uh, greater than equal to 0 let's do this because even if n is 0 0 cannot be power of 2 otherwise what you can simply test if n and with n minus 1 now if this is power of 2 then n and with n minus 1 results into 0 so if it is 0 you can simply return uh true else return false even this thing i have explained in that same lecture in which i have explained how to count the total number of set bits so just check out that lecture and you will know how this works so as you can see the code this time also passes so there there were two ways you can uh, check whether the given number is uh, is power of two or not you can simply uh, count the total number of set bits in the binary representation of that number or you can simply test it using this expression this expression what what it does is simply remove the last set bit from n if n contains only a single bit then after removing that bit the result is going to be equal to zero so that is why if this expression is equals to zero that means n was actually a power of two that is why we are returning true otherwise we are returning false so this was all for this lecture i hope you have learned something from it so thank you guys for watching and till the next video drops keep coding thank you